Karina. Hello. Can you, hello, how are you? <laughs> fine, fine, thanks. Good. How was your day? Good. Excellent. Good. Excellent. Good. Uh, where do you work, Corina? In Banco Promerica. Oh, in, in what branch? Uh, uh, what is branch? Branch means sucursal. What branch? Um, Santa Ana, Independencia. Oh, okay, good. How many years have you been there? Seven, seven years. Seven years? Half. Oh, seven and a half, good. And where did you work before? I work in, in another bank. Oh, good. <laughs> so you, you have always been doing bank um, bank work? Yes, good. all my career. Oh, good, good, nice. Almost okay. uh -huh. third year. My God, okay, <laughs> good. So you have done, you, I, I imagine that you have been in in different departments, different positions and everything? Yes. Good. Almost in um, in all in all positions. Good, good, good. Nice. All right, everybody, welcome back. So let's see. All right, Raul, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Uh, Nelly, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Carlos Emilio, can you hear me? Okay, Jose Ramos, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. All right, good. So, welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, was it raining where you are earlier or now? No. No? I am in Santa Ana. Raul, was it raining where you were? No. I am in Santa Ana. The sky is green. So it, it wasn't raining earlier? No, I think maybe in the morning, but I am not here in the morning. Okay. Uh, but now, no. Okay, because okay. it was raining in San Salvador, like about 7 p.m. It was raining. Really? Yeah, and it was raining hard. Yes, but I am in Santa Ana. Right, right. Because sometimes the rain is in all the country, sometimes. Yes, especially in, in the Occident. Yeah, in the, in the Western part. Okay, okay, so welcome back. Um, do you remember the topics that we discussed um, yesterday? We were talking about the stress and syllables. Very good. We were talking about the stress in syllables, right? And that is very necessary for you to sound more natural. It's like in Spanish, you need to identify where the stress is. So you said, fuimos a la playa en carro. Do you say carro? It doesn't make sense. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> Llamemos un taxi. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So English is exactly the same. You need to be able to identify where the stress is so you sound more natural. So when you use, um, when the stress is in the wrong um, syllable, people understand what you're saying, but uh, pronunciation is not good. So the goal, the objective is that you sound natural when you speak. Okay, uh, now that you mentioned syllables, 
uh, can you remind us how you identify the number of syllables in a word? Anybody? <clears throat> Cristina, Nelly, Raul, Flor, Maybe. Carlos, David, Maybe. Jose, Corina. Yes? Maybe uh, with the sound of vowels. Exactly. Exactly. The word. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so, how many vowels do we have in English? Five. Yes, we have five. Like in Spanish. Right, like in Spanish. What's the first one? A. 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 What's the second I. one? I. E. E. Number three? I. Number four? Oh. oh, and the last one is? You. 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 Okay. So we have A-E-I-O-U. So when you are pronouncing a word, uh, the number of vowels that you hear will indicate how many syllables the word has. If you hear two vowels, that means that the word has two syllables. Two syllables. If you hear four vowels, that indicates that the word has four syllables, and so on, and so on. Okay, uh, anything else about yesterday? In any, addition, what is it? In addition, we were talking about the purpose to... Very good. For Jesus' claim. Exactly. Um, we were saying that when you want to express the purpose or the use of an object or a thing, you're, you can use for plus the ing form of the verb, or you can say to plus what? The verb and base form. Very good, Raul, and the verb in the base form. So, what is the function of this cup right here? What's the function? For drinking coffee. Very good. For drinking coffee, water. In this case, is water. Oh, okay. Yeah, but not crazy water. Normal water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alcohol. <laughs> yeah. He say like Francisco, you look very red. What are you drinking? Okay, so you say, this is for drinking water. What if I want to use the other form? To drink water. Very good, to drink water, okay. Um, what's the function of my, sun, of my eyeglasses? For helping to see. For helping to see or? Better. To help you see. Okay. What what is the main function of your cell phone? The main function of your cell phone. To call other people. To call other people. What would be the other form? For calling other people. For calling other people. Exactly. And we can mention many examples and just make sure that if you're using the preposition for then the form of the verb has to be ing. If you're using to, then the form of the verb has to be base form. Um, any questions about that topic? No. Have you had the chance to visit the platform? Yes. Okay. Yes, I did it. Uh, do you have any questions about the platform so far? No? No. All right. So let me share one document here, um, which is one of the topics you will see in the platform. And the name is uh, right here. I think this is it. Yes. All right. Do you see the document? 
Yes. Yes. Okay, what's the name? Commands. Commands. Now, Commands. what is a command? It's like an order. Very good. It's like an order. Uh, do you remember what we said last time when we are giving an order? What are we supposed to say? Who remembers? So look at the first one. Can you read the first one? Sit down. Sit down. Now, do you only say sit down or do you use any type of magic word? Uh, would you like sit down, please? Uh huh. Could you please sit down, please? Uh huh. Could you please sit down? So you can perfectly uh, give someone an order and use a model so you sound very polite and at the same time it's very good if you include magic words like please thank you and so on so um the first one is sit down be quiet don't run respect your teachers open your book don't smoke don't cut the flower don't cut flowers don't play with matches, don't play football, help each other, no bikes, put on your smoke, uh, don't walk on the grass, take off your shoes, don't shout, stand up, don't quarrel, switch off your cell phone, listen to your teacher, don't put on a cap, do your homework, don't throw rubbish, don't play with the knife and be punctual. So these are examples of commands. Do you have any questions about vocabulary? Yes, the number 20, 22. 22, okay. Does anybody know the meaning of rubbish? Like uh, garbage or trash? Yes. Rubbish is a synonym of garbage. And the word rubbish is very common in England. In the United States, people usually say garbage or trash. In England, people say rubbish. Double B. Double B. Double B. Double B. You can see it very well. <laughs> okay. Uh, more questions about vocabulary? Yes, I have, I have another one. Yes, Corina. Um, 17. Okay, don't quarrel. Okay, anybody, the meaning of quarrel? To discuss with someone else? Okay, um, quarrel... Uh, when you say discuss, in English, discuss means to conversate, to speak. Oh, okay. Now, when you say quarrel, it means to argue or fight. Argue or fight. Argue or fight. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh huh. Any others? Um, what's the, the, the question, teacher? Uh, if you have any questions about vocabulary. Oh, okay. Because you will be doing this exercise right now. The, the 15, don't shoot. Es como disparar, no. No, in that case, it's shout. It's a, shout. Synonym, it's a synonym of scream, Janina. Scream. scream. Oh, okay. Like when you raise your voice. Like when you go to the stadium, you shout. Okay. Okay. Any others? 
So remember, the command can be positive and it can be negative. If you are given a negative command, you're supposed to use don't. Don't. Don't close the door. Don't go outside. Don't say bad words. Um, don't go out. It's raining when the command is negative. If the command is positive, you simply use um, the base form of the verb. And you say, pay attention, take notes, uh, call your mom, read your book. So when the command is positive, uh, the form of the verb is base form. Any questions about this picture? No. Okay, everybody has this picture in the chat. Did you receive it? Yes. All yep. right. So I'm going yes, to make, um, let me see how many people we have here. So you guys work together, let's see, 13 people. I will make six groups. So you guys work in pairs, nice and easy. All right, here we go. Go ahead. Robert. Hi. Robert and Christina and Daniel. All right, so start the exercise. So for the first picture, what would be the answer? Um, the 23. 23. 23. Yes. Don't play with the knife. Don't play with the knife. What happens if you play with the knife, Daniel? I can hurt myself. Exactly. What about number two, the second picture? What is the number, uh, the best number for the second picture? Don't put on a cup. Put on your smock. Yes, number 12 is the answer. Put on your smock. Smock is the what we have here. Doctors use it. Um, sometimes people in a laboratory, they use it. Uh, so this is a uh, smock. Got it? Yeah. All right, I'll come back. The number, the three is the... In, in I see sentences used, for example, and there's down, quiet, no bites. Uh, for example, in there are storms and, and don't, don't. Smoke, for example. Okay, which number are you doing? Which picture are you doing? Um, Gabriela and Flora? Uh, no, we have to do, we have to complete. Like, for example, you have the first picture. What, yeah, is, the, what is the best number for the first okay. picture? Okay. Don't play with Don't the knife. Okay, 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 good, good. Okay. Okay, the next one. The okay. is jacket. It is jacket. Yes, uh, you can say jacket, but the real name is smock. Uh, smock. Hi, cousin. I'm alone in hey. this. Really? Room. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You my, know, you forgot me. Oh my God. So I guess that I didn't calculate uh, the numbers. <laughs> Imagine I made a group just for yourself. Thank you. I'm sorry, it wasn't I'm my intention. So special. 
Of course, <laughs> of course. I'm so special, a uh, private private room for me. Exactly. <laughs> Imagine that I expect Janita to be talking to herself. <laughs> Okay, so let me um, let me put you with another group so you do the talking too. Uh, excuse me, again, please. I, I, I'm going to put you in a group. Okay. Yes, right now. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you were supposed to be. Hold on. <laughs> but I don't see you anywhere here. <laughs> Everybody is losing. <laughs> okay, so I'm all oh, room four. Okay. I'm going to send you company right now. Thank you. <laughs> there. Hey, Ricardo. Ricardo? Uh, uh -huh. My Maybe. goodness. Hold on. Hi, Jose. Hi, Janina. Are you doing answers? the exercise? Yeah, I did just so, uh, the, just four. How many did? How many did you? How many? Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't <laughs> ask me right now, really, because <laughs> I'm oh, really? losing in the in the platform. All right, here we go. I made a mistake. Sorry. Gabriela? Yes. Who else is here? Just you? And Nelly. I don't see Nelly. But, but he's not here right now. Where did she go? I don't know. Okay. So do, do you have the, uh, the answers for the exercise? We are in the, at the house. At, uh, which number? Uh, which picture? We are in the in the second line. The last. The where is the girl? Okay, uh, this one here. Yeah, exactly, exactly that. Okay, so what is the answer for that picture? It has to be stand up, please. Stand uh -huh, up. The sixteen. Right. Right, yes, good. Okay, then the I'll next be, one. I'll be back. Okay. Six. The don't, next one, uh, don't, 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 don't smoke. Don't smoke. The next one. Which picture are you doing right now? Uh, we are in the in the row three. Okay. In the picture number four, row three, number four. This one here. This. Okay. That one. That oh, one. All right. Uh, this is the same. Four, your teacher, but I'm not sure. I have another. Listen to your, listen to your to your teacher. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Nineteen. 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 Mm. Okay, good. The next one is open your book. Yeah. The number open. five. Open your book. Yes. The next one is picture. 
help is no, no. Ah, fifteenth. Fifteenth? Don't shout. Don't shout, right. And the next one is um, don't, don't, don't run. Fifteen. Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Number three, yeah. don't run. Don't run, right. Three. And the twelve will be a uh, stand up. Stand up. Sixteen. Mm, yeah, sixteen. Mm. Yeah, the the thirteen. The twenty. The twenty. Yeah, don't put on a. Don't put on a cap. You're yeah. doing this one here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's the answer. Okay. And the next one could be be quiet. Uh-huh. Be quiet. Number two. Number two. Yeah. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Mm -hmm. the six. six. And the 16 is... Uh, there is a group of people. What, what is he doing? Um, it, 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 could, it could be the fourth one. Respect your teacher. I don't know. Listen, uh, listen to your teacher. Yeah, the nineteenth. Yes, nineteen. Uh-huh. And the next one there is a food on the open your open your book. Open your book. It's a book. Yeah, it's a it's a book. Number mm -hmm. five. Number five. Yes. And the next one, don't don't quarrel, 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 quarrel. Seventeen. I don't know. Don't smoke. Teacher, don't the smoke. last exactly the last ah, image. Image is is it confused the image. Um. Uh, a cigarette, no. Cigarette. Like a card. Like a. <laughs> really. I can. I can see some familiar image. I don't know what it is. Don't smoke. <laughs> no, uh, this is. This is. Those are phosphorus. Uh -huh, phosphorus. Oh, okay. Yeah, the image is is not too clear. Uh huh. <laughs> Confuse the clear the image. You're right, right. So, what would be the answer? Don't smoke, for me. <laughs> you sure? But don't smoke is close to be quiet. What about number eight? Oh, don't play with matches. Don't play. Ah, okay. Don't play with matches. Uh -huh. uh, matches is for. Yeah, phosphorus. matches is phosphorus. Ah, okay. Okay, it was the last one. Okay. Okay. Okay, so talk like two more minutes and then I'll send you back to 
to the main session. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it is a, it could be encendedor, a fósforo, fósforo, mecha. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, matches are phosphorus. Uh, matches. And I I don't know see the picture. Um yes, the picture is not too clear. No, no clear. <laughs> I guess. That one. Yes, thank, thank teacher. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the I, image is I, not clear. Yes. I I use glasses, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I use glasses too, but sometimes uh, they don't work. Yes. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. Nobody respect you. Which one? Number four. Okay, respect your teacher. You are right. Okay, we done. Okay, we finish. Okay, so we'll we'll come back. Hold on. Hello. Hello. No, I'm here. Do you hear me? Anybody? Yes, we hear you, Janita. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Can you hear me, Janita? Yes. Good. All right. Um, does anybody have any questions about the exercise? Any questions? No. Is everything clear? So as you can see, um, we are practicing. Yes, Janita. Do you remember what did you say a few minutes ago about the use of um, a, the time of the structure? Of the phrase, like when you say in base form the verb in base. Form. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Can you please repeat it? Sure, sure. Explanation. When 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 you are giving a command, mm -hmm. you need to use the negative form if the command mm -hmm. is negative. For example, you said, um, "Don't listen to music. Don't listen to your brother. Don't go outside." Don't use my shoes. Uh, don't don't speak when you are eating. Those are okay. negative okay. commands. Now, if the command you are okay. given is positive, you simply use the base form of the verb. So you say, okay. um, stand up, sit down, turn on the light, uh, stop eating, go outside, come in, but remember, whenever you're giving a command, whether it's positive or negative, it's always good that you include uh, magic words. So go outside, please. Come in, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sure. Uh, anybody else, any other questions about commands? No? All right. No. So when we use commands, we're talking about small portions of language, like sit down, be quiet, ask questions, go outside. They're just little portions. Now, the idea is that you use those little portions in a real conversation and you speak more and you become more fluent. So right now, there is one topic that is related with the weather. So once again, um, I sent you an image uh, with questions. Did you receive it? Yes. 
Yes. Okay, so uh, we're going to be using those questions. I'm going to make groups again. And the idea is that everybody in the group participates and uh, give your opinion as well. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Don't forgive me. <laughs> Don't forget me, please. I won't. I will <laughs> not forget you. <laughs> Let's see. We will assign you to number two. And we will assign you to number... <laughs> My God. Right there. Here we go. Hi. Hi. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Roberto Carlos. Are you ready? Just a free conversation. What? Yeah, it's only a conversation. Um, ah, okay. Okay. I come to mind when you hear the word weather. Only answer the question. Yeah, only only speak. Only speak. Only speak. What comes to mind when you hear the word weather? Um, I think rain, the sun. <laughs> rain, the sun, the beach. Yes. And use um, umbrellas, use something that can give you something to be hot. For example, sweater or jacket. The clothes for any season. What about the second one? What is your favorite weather? I preferred a uh, the sunny day. Sunny day, yes, me too. I like sunny day. I prefer sunny day than rain days. Uh, uh, for me, I prefer the windy, the windy day. Wind is really nice. Okay, I like too. Um, what do you think of today's weather? Today is, uh, there are variety. Sometimes variety, in, by, variety. Yes. In the in a moment is raining, in another moment is sun, sunny. Yeah. Exactly. Change of the all the day. Number four. Do you worry about the world? A sunny day, but sometimes. I wanna have a a raining day. So I think all the weather are beautiful. And totally agree. All weather is beautiful. All weather yeah. are beautiful. Too sunny. <laughs> Sometimes it's we need sunny. Sometimes we need warm, cold. I love all of all of them so but you have to be in the so if you will go to the beach you want a sunny day yeah absolutely. not a raining day so that's that's what i think Claude, you the third okay the third. third okay what do you think of today's weather um, um and today the weather it's very good, but in the in the morning, um, a little a little cool in for my my house in the after afternoon in the sunny sunny day. Is um, I think the weather today is is very good. So, and that's it. And Next one, it's me, no? Yes. Okay. Do you worry about the world changing weather? Actually, yes, because we don't have a, a, a con. How do you say conciencia? Conscious. Conscious about the 
all made uh, bad things to affect the water and some of many people uh, that create groups to help her but it's not uh, enough to do something because the principal um, common to affect the water it's on the in the um, machines and things like that big machines so I, I don't know how do you say industries industry industry and they need to change things that producers in a, a big um, mountains of things that affect the weather but it's it's really worry about it okay okay See, why, why do different countries have a different weather? So it's a very scientific answer, but, but it's because the countries are in a different, in a different place all over the earth and it, and it's important for the weather, right? Because El Salvador, we only have, uh, we don't have too much kind of different weather, only too? sunny and rainy. Exactly. Yeah, too. That's it. It's it's easy. Not like another another countries like Canada, United States that have four kind of seasons of season of season it's a point yes many many answers that but the weather, good point the weather is different in clues um close to here because in Uspirotan is very very hot um, or it's hot, hot. yes uh -huh. it's very hot the, the weather no, um, it's, it's a bonus for me when I have to go to Uspirotan or Again. It's very hard. The, the weather is hotter. Yes, very hot. For for us, Raúl, uh, in for any two, the uh, uh, the next question is uh, is so so real. Have the weather in your country changing over the past decade? Is so real because in in Santa Ana, in the, how do you say the name of your country or your city? Any uh, Antigua Bucatlan, right? Antigua Bucatlan, yes. I remember it was was so cold in the past, oh. and now it's different. No, very hot, you know. It's different. Mm -hmm. Changes the in in the past the the, the years. Very very hot. Yeah. Hard here in Santa Ana, if you remember, Janina, uh, in the market, always we have problems when the first raining. Yes, uh, it's because true. The garbage, uh, the yeah. people throw the garbage. In the Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it's true. It's, it's always a problem with the first rain start in uh, in the in the winter, mm -hmm. but, but, but the, I have ha hmm? I have another. Uh, I, uh, yes, it's true. Uh, I have another point in Santa Ana. Uh, I remember the decades, the decades, the past decades. As it says, decades. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, the past decades, uh, I remember in Santa Ana, uh, right now, there is a lot of, uh, how do you say, uh, constructions or urbanization? urbanization? Yeah, build, build, in, building in so, general. Building. There was a lot of building going on. Uh, and cut, cut the, uh, the trees, cut the trees. Uh-huh. Yeah. That is called tree falling. It means tala de árboles. Ah, oh, okay. Exactly. Exactly. 
exactly. Yeah, tree falling. Tree falling. Mm -hmm. And your previous question, Annie, uh, you say global warming. Calentamiento global. Global, okay. Yeah. Global warming. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, okay. Have you ever experienced... Continue, continue, I'm sorry. Have you ever experienced, uh, experienced uh, extreme weather? Have you ever experienced have you ever ex experience, experience extreme, extreme weather? weather? Extreme weather. Have you ever experienced extreme weather? Like very Only cold with rainy. Or very cold. Mm, no. Here in El Salvador, mm, no. It's supportable. <laughs> I, I don't know how to say it. Uh bearable. Bearable. I'm I'm gonna write it in the chat. Okay. Bearable. Bearable. Now, if you want to say insoportable, then you will say unbearable. Unbearable. Mm -hmm. Bearable. 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 Um, can it can be the opposite of the cold, really hot and nowadays uh, and and um, some uh, have been a little hot well, in, in, in San Miguel is uh, mm -hmm. is unbearable. Exactly. It's too hot. Yeah, very yeah. hot. Well, let, let. My, my co-workers or friends that they say it on, on chat or when you're saying at the place, but it's that. You yeah. Or if you have to make plans or make a trip and you have to know how it's going to be the weekend and you look or read the, the, the weather, how, yeah. it's gonna, how it's going to be. that. Okay. Oh well, that in that case is that no? Yeah, I'll draw or roll the weather first guy. But it's like always do it always to look at the forecast. No. For, in my case, no. But I know always I I know about the forecast because um, some persons or people trying to to give that information and it's like oh, okay thanks yeah yeah exactly okay the next one i only knew paper sorry okay i yeah um that is really not true. Maybe when the weather is cold, I, I can use a, a jacket or, or, or sweaters. Yeah. And then you like cold weather. Yes. But you can wear sweaters and jackets. Yeah, I prefer a cold. And, and, and to, to sleep is better. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> With many uh, sheets. How, how the meaning of sabana? Sheets. <laughs> sheet. That is very, very cold. I don't know if that's correct. Okay, if, if, if you go to San Miguel, you say sheet. If you go to El Pital, you need a blanket. A blanket. Uh, a blanket. blanket. Uh, I'm going to write it in the chat. Like okay. sheet, 
Or like, like frazada. Blanket. So, once again, if you go to San Miguel, you only need a sheet. If you go to El Pital, you need a blanket. Okay. Tents, sheet, or blankets. And in Canada? You use a you blanket. You use a blanket. blanket. Yeah. Well, it depends what, what, what season and what part of Canada. So sometimes a sheet, sometimes a blanket. Yeah. So you go to San Miguel, La Union, where it's very hot. You use a sheet. sheet. If you go, let's say, Los Naranjos, El Pital, uh, you need a blanket. Okay. Okay, okay. see you in a few minutes. Yes, Gary uh, said uh, that she enjoyed the, the weather in any kind of uh, type of, of weather, sunny, rain, or cold. Yes. Or... yes. If, if right, I use umbrella. I don't know, right? Rain. Actually, I don't like the the rain the rain uh, in a big um on pro uh, big times or uh, like right now because I think that it's good, but in a short period. But moderate. Not, uh, period. Yeah, moderate because it's yeah. a little mess when. Think about the persons who affect that uh, the streets are totally destroyed. Yeah, like the last uh, week. Yeah, and the, and the, I don't know how they say traffic. I forget it. Sorry. Traffic. Uh, traffic. Yeah. And that is a totally mess when the the rain is uh, for a longer time, and it's not it's not good for me. And after that, the the or your your shoes. <laughs> always always are wet and it's like ah oh, i don't like that <laughs> <laughs> right okay and the last one says anthony said the angelus angelus whatever you go no matter what the weather what the weather always brings your own sun sunshine 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 yeah actually that is nice because I think that the first uh, comment about cabin is, is a good point. You need to enjoy when it's ridiculous, expensive price. <laughs> okay, in the last one. <laughs> a little umbrella is around five dollars. <laughs> yes, in my case too. In the street, some people sell it in two dollars. <laughs> But $60. I know. Sixty dollar? No, never. Ah. I, so I don't know how's the name of how 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 do you say paraguas? It's the same. It's umbrella. Umbrella. Yeah. Umbrella. Ah, umbrella. Okay. If, what's yeah. Umbrella? Remember that that Spanish is more complete because in Spanish sombrí is one thing, <laughs> sombrí is one thing, and paraguas <laughs> is another one. So in English mm -hmm. they use umbrella for both. Better. Okay. Uh, yeah, less complicated. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I love the express expression of the last one. Uh huh. Who is where did, reading? Where did you bought bought the umbrella? Where? Huh? Where? Where I I bought? Uh huh. In, Santa Ana. in the store, uh, it, no, in another country. We oh. we have a uh, vacation oh. in a travel. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh excuse us. Uh, say the details, <laughs> but it was so. And you know what it was? Uh, it was a uh, umbrella paraguas, <laughs> mm. and I bring brought to my part uh, to my daddy to my pa uh, parents pa parents. And the umbrella stay in the closet by years. He really? never used it. Yeah. In this winter, I said, hey, you know, you don't have idea how much it costs. Please use it. 
Yeah. Because it's so love, love your umbrella. He, love. <laughs> I, I give her, him like a gift, but yeah. I, but. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Are you ready to go nine nine? Nine nine. Are you guys going to sleep right now or do you have something else to do? Something else Wait. to do. Go to the bed. Yeah. I will go to the bed right now. Charge <laughs> yeah. batteries. Okay. <laughs> Okay, good thing you are in your home. You know, I'm still in the office in San Salvador. So when I finish the session, I go to Lourdes. So I oh still God. have to make one last trip. One. Oh. oh my God. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Why? So, uh, because um, I teach a class that I finish at 7.30. No. And... Um, I don't have enough time to go from that class to Lourdes. So what I do, I return to the office, I teach the two classes, and then I go home. Oh my God. But you have a motorcycle. Yes, I have a motorcycle. So it takes me like 20 or 25 minutes to be home. Yep. Yeah, it's very... Yeah, okay, so once again, be thank careful. you very much. Yes. Be careful with the yes. with the winter. Exactly with the Spring. rain. Yes. With the rain. Yes. Rest, rest a lot. Yep. I do. You know, <laughs> as soon as I arrive to my house, I check if people are awake. Usually they're asleep, and I go to sleep until the next day. Um, yes. Yeah. So thank you very much. Have a good night. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Same place, same time. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Bye.